The ambitious four-year plan will allow the state to add bicycle and pedestrian infrastructure, while coming up with ways to market and support education efforts to promote bike safety. Many bikers are eager to see. Dedicated bike lanes are safer, I think, for bikers and probably safer for uh, people in the cars, too. I think it's a great idea. I mean, we do like to bike, and it just would be safer if we had more bike paths. We're talking about using $100 million to help improve the infrastructure, like here on the sides of the road where there's dirt and potholes and all kinds of obstacles for bikers. It'd be safer for them if they didn't have to go through all the trucks and major potholes and, you know, trying to find a different route that's going to, you know, not damage their bicycle and harm themselves. In Vegas, the governor fussed about the state obesity rate climbing to 21 percent, then cited a national study which indicates kids are only spending four to seven minutes outside in unstructured play but spending seven to 10 hours staring at screens. He hopes biking will improve these stats. Many using the bike pass near the South Platte say the new plans sound great. They even like the way the governor plans to use money from Great Outdoors Colorado, uh, the lottery funds to help pay for the improvements. Colorado definitely finds interesting ways to utilize tax money well. Uh, so that's cool to see that they took a lot of gambling money and put it towards something that we could all benefit from in the long run. Since 1992, GOKO committed more than $825 million in lottery proceeds to more than 4,500 projects across the state. A unique way to begin funding cycling projects without using tax dollar support. In Rhino, Chambon, Fox 31 Denver.